Triple speed. Let's live life on the edge. Hold on to your lunch bags. Whoa. Down the drop. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the next City Skylines video. Today, we are going to be working on a new scenario. I've been looking through the workshop, and I found this one here called Cable Cars. Time to get the cable cars going in a beautiful snowy map. Um, I'll let you pause the game if you wish to read through all of that. I'll just scroll down a little bit. There we go. She can read it. There we go. I'm assuming you've read through all of that. So basically, the upshot is uh, 500,000 people transported using public transport, basically cable cars only, construct 20 public transport buildings, own at least nine city area tiles, construct 10 instances of ski lodge, and construct a sleigh ride. Uh, there's some losing conditions. If you have one person, just step foot on a bus, a tram, a metro, a train, a ship, an aeroplane, or a taxi, then um, you will lose the game. There's no monorail listed there, but I'm going to say no monorail as well. That's going to be also a losing condition. I don't want to cheat in any way. So, yeah, this is going to be interesting. So, let me start up the map. If you want to check it out, it's by Arthur Lewis. I will put the link in the description. So, let's dive in. And here we are. This is our city. Let's have a look. We've got a little starting city here. Another little starting sort of city over there. Are they all within our first grid? No. So we can't access that one over there. We can only get in here. Uh, we've got 8,300 people. And this is totally vanilla. No assets, no mods, no nothing installed. So we'll see how all of that goes. We have needs for some industry. Let's just run the game a minute. Let's just see how this is going. So we've got a lot of people coming in from outside. And we've got a purchase. So we've probably already hit some milestones, haven't we? Uh, I don't want to have a look at that. Oh, actually, what have we got going on here? So we've already got a couple of things done already on our list of things. That's good. Milestones, we've already unlocked a few. Okay. So, yeah, that's fantastic. And I thought we'd have some uh, synthetic dawn music because why not? So let's just pause a sec. Because everyone's going to be worrying about their heating. Uh, we do have uh, heating pipes installed, which is good. But obviously not enough sewage treatment. That's what they're concerned about. Where is our sewage treatment going at the moment? Do we not have access to water anywhere? We've got this little... Is this water? Or is this differently coloured... It is. It is water. That was definitely coloured land. It's some water. Uh, I don't really want to put my sewage into that. Um, we could just plop it over the side of the mountain. <laughs> into there. Let's not do that either. We've got some inland water treatment plants. Uh, that will help. And I think there's already something like that going on over here. Oh, I don't have the toggle whiteness mod. So every time I touch something, it's going to mess something else up. Okay. And I'd, oh, so many mods I'm missing already. It's like, I want all my mods. How long is it going to be before I get completely confused about what roads I've got available to me? Um, oh, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to pop it alongside here. Let's, let's do it there. And then let's connect that up. Let's use the heating pipes. So nothing freezes. There we go. So hopefully... Oh, if we actually play the game, we'll be able to see what's going on. Let's go back over to this one here. Yep, there we go. So we've got all of that taken care of. Uh, money, I always like to just quickly check uh, what my taxes and stuff are set on. Yep, just to make sure there's no surprises of how much money we're losing because of stuff. Right, well, all of this is going to be zero anyway, isn't it? Oh, we already have some cable cars. Ah, where are they? Uh, let's find the one that's got the cable car on it. There we go. Oh, this is it and it's got no electricity but that cable car goes across to over there <laughs> so technically we could just leave this game running and, <laughs> and win <laughs> oh no we've got to build some other things as well haven't we so no, no we, we're not going to do that okay what have we got to spend Seventy-five thousand. what have we got electricity wise we looks like we've got some coal power plants dotted around the place so let's maybe add in for variety in oil power plants um, these are houses. I'm just going to whack it right in the middle of the housing complex. Let's not do that. Let's purchase another square. Come on. Let's uh, let's live a little. Uh, that's not the one I want. 
Yeah, forgetting where everything is. Whoa, what do we go for? Um, so we've got this lovely river we could build alongside here and have cable cars going up and down. We could have this one here, which actually has got this big open spot. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to head out this way. Let's have this one. And then we can have some cable cars going down there. I think that'll be good. Uh, let's just pop in our power producing item. Going to lose a few industries. Yeah, we've got this other one here. Let's just plop it next to that one. We're going to lose a few industries, like we said. Industry buildings. But let's not worry overly about that for now. We can expand some more. I'm finding it so weird not having mods. I would normally dive in and use mods for all sorts of things. Uh, this isn't going too well here. So how can we fix this? This is how you see Biffa floundering at, <laughs> at doing things without mods. Oh, my goodness me. I'm going to put stop signs on all of those. Uh, we haven't got any weird traffic lights, have we? No. Uh, what have we got going on down here? We've got traffic lights all the way along this road here. So we don't need that. I'm going to just put stop signs on the T-junctions. We'll have traffic lights there. That is our main road coming in, isn't it? So I'm going to keep that one moving. That's fine. Don't need that. Don't need that. To be honest, on these smaller roads, I'm just going to take all the traffic lights off. Just to keep things going. If it gets busier, I'll make these T-junctions stop signs. But for now, that will do. Uh, yeah. Unnecessary. 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 <laughs> unnecessary. <laughs> All of these are going to go. Everybody's happy. Look, they're upgrading their houses because there's stop signs being removed. And even more over here in the industry area. We want to just keep things going. That is a big two collector roads there. Well, leave that traffic light in, I think. Yep, that'll do. Excellent. Okay, so how are we going to expand down here? See, my instant reaction is to just have a road down here we've got to sort of connect this up somehow to everything else so the industry can work but it's the people that we want to transfer up and down is there any water in there oh there's absolutely no water in this at all i thought it was going to be filled with water oh well let us run a road down here the temperature's dropping i want like a little dirt road there it is hmm so at the minute, this could be the main road through here. Let's just pause the game and see how easy it's going to be to get a road down here. So if our main road came out like this, and of course we've got no anarchy mods, nothing like that. I'm going to sort of wind it down and hopefully it's not too winky wonky and then what i'm going to put is a road up the middle here because why the heck not so if i get no i don't want six lane road if i get one of these and then can we just sort of wind it up this yeah it's a shame there's not oh here it is it's over here oh we haven't even got there yet i thought it was there it's here <laughs> it's a shame there's not water running through this but you're not know going to do i'm going to run a road through it and I want the road to stick to the ground. Oh, and it won't do that, will it? And I was, you notice I immediately went for my mods <laughs> to have the road stick to the ground. But it's just going to be a built up road. Why not? Come on then. Let's live a little. Let's, let's make it all bridge like and just see what it looks like. So that's going to be the start of our new area. We're going to build off of this. And then we want to connect that to up here. So I'm going to just wind this. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so steep. Uh, it's actually quite interesting to me how steep the game will let you do roads. Even without even without mods. But let's uh, upgrade this. Oh, oh, there we go. Already hitting that slope too steep. Let's see if we can get that round there. There we go. So let's upgrade all of this. Oh, another one. Another one. Well, I suppose, you know, if I actually read what it said on the screen, um, I don't actually have enough money to connect that road up, which is absolutely brilliant. So maybe I should just leave this one here, if I can afford that, to connect up to our lovely new road that's going to be coming down here. 
that would be a good start. Oh, you're complaining about heating. Oh, that is going to be a big problem. Look at the temperature. Minus 14. And we cannot afford any heating things. What are they going to cost? 60,000 and... Oh, my giddy aunt. Right. Let's look at our budget. So, there isn't a separate heating budget. It is literally our water budget. So, we can up that and it will up this a bit. Oh, there we go. Look, we're covering covering what we've got do we have any other needs health care we could do with death care we've got taken care of child care we've got none because that's something new that wasn't around when the map was made okay fire coverage we've got one little guy down there oh wow oh wow we are losing so much money okay i might have already messed this up before we've even started uh, let's add that up to 12 because we'll know they pay actually it's 11 let's go to 11 we'll know they they'll pay that oh we get a nice nighttime view oh look at that i do love the look of a snowy map fantastic look at that and now our roundabout is moving much better look at that much much better We've got parking on the roundabout, which isn't great, but we'll let them off. We'll let them off. <laughs> There's parking on these roads as well. Oh, it does look fantastic. And do you notice as well, my jumpy game has gone. Um, I've completely reinstalled City Skylines, and for this, I've removed all mods and all assets. And everything just seems to be running so much smoother. Oh, look at that with the northern lights. Doesn't it just look beautiful? We'll take a screenshot of that. That just looks lovely. Right. Uh, are we actually making any money? We are making some money now, which is good. But we're going to need a whole whack load of money. Do I take a loan out to help us move things along? Apparently, we already have this one. Or has this not been unlocked yet, probably? We could literally take a loan for 60000 And we would spend it like that on our heating. Oh, the snow! Oh. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Fantastic snowstorm. Game, even a vanilla game without all the extra mods to make it look beautiful. Extra beautiful, I should say. The game still looks beautiful, doesn't it? Ha! Brilliant. So our main concern at the minute is trying to make money because, yeah, we're struggling. So how about we fill some of these needs that we've got and maybe stick some more industry in here that was the uh that was the thing wasn't it so these roads are connected i might just stick mm. oh i'm gonna break like all the rules of what i would normally do i was gonna stick a load of industry off of this road but no we're not gonna do that what resources do we have let's let's just take a look uh, we might be able to get some oh forestry just what you're going to do in a freezing cold map like this. Anything up here. Got forestry over here. Forestry down there. Let's go for forestry. Industry. On here. And then I'll tell you what we're going to do. Is then we're going to try and set it up. So people bring their cable cars down here. Instead of driving. Obviously the trucks are going to have to. I mean this is a big. We don't worry, we're not going to need a forestry area that big are we. Let's just take all of that out. That'll do. This little bit here. This is where it's going to start. Not the flattest of terrains. We can do something about that. Let's get our level terrain tool. Let's take a slightly bigger size. I immediately just want to go for the move it mods. Like lift these roads up. <laughs> Try to remember all the things I can and can't do. Okay, this is not using up too much soil actually. Oh, we can do that can't we brush strength there we go i want that size there just want to nicely flatten that out and then we can zippity doo dah that around there yeah that's not too bad that'll be a good start tony magoni haven't heard from tony magoni in years how you doing sorry tony i'm talking all over you there we go <laughs> Tony, you're such a funny guy. Um, I want to do this. 
with that. What is that on the screen? I just want to stop that. I just want to do this thing here, please. That one. There we go. We're going to do that. And then we're going to... Meaty bits! I remember the meaty bits. Thank you, Tony McGoney. That's actually far too long, that road. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to keep it. And we're going to try and... Oh, it's night time again. Yeah, actually, I'm just going to do that bit there. And then we're going to stick in... Do, 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 forestry. Yep. Yeah. Thank you for the production chain. We're going to stick that right there. Congratulations! Small grain silo, small animal pasture, small crops and all the different things. Okay, good. I'm going to do greenhouses because I'm thinking in this weather... Yeah, look, they've automatically defaulted. I don't think they normally do that, do they? Default to greenhouse in the winter map. That is very clever. So if I can fit those off the back here... How big are these ones? Let's go like... One, two, three. How's that looking? That's all right, isn't it? It's looking good. We can flatten out that terrain a little bit more as we get there. We need some water. Yeah, now... I don't think these need heating pipes. This is going to cost me an absolute fortune. If I come along like that, what I'm thinking is, is I want to run it down the road because everybody's doing that now. It's like the new cool thing to do. But actually, I'm not going to. I'm going to do it. As long as the game lets me, I'm just going to connect it up like that. There we go. Water availability is through the roof, which is actually costing us a lot of money. But I've done that so we can get more heat. Um, and then electricity, of course. I don't have the no power mods installed. So we need to... Uh, oh, electricity is actually through the roof. Let's not... I'll keep clicking that one instead of this one because of the positioning. Uh, let's drop that one down. Oh, I'll tell you what it is. Yeah, I hadn't really thought of that before. Because the night and day has always thought... You know, changing the budget for night and day, I've always thought, what's the point? But the temperature drops, does it, at night? On a snow map? Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But yeah, we've got so much electricity since we put the other thing in. I don't think we need that that high at all. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Okay, so let's run this. This would go up and... Oh, look. Freezing roads. If we run this along here, would this go up and over the mountain? I'm sure it would. Uh, it would come down here straight over that hill and then hook into there there we go that will give us some electricity which i've dropped it down too far so we haven't got enough let's put that on 65 there we go and that should be fine water plenty of water plenty of electricity yeah plenty 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 so our roads are not getting looked after as good as they could we obviously need to do something about that and if i remember correctly over here road condition we have our snow dump and our road maintenance depot i'm thinking a snow dump would be yeah there is no snow dumps is there no snow dumps at all i'm gonna pop them down here somewhere where could i pop them i need to have to flatten out a bit more of this land aren't i how about this little spot sort of in the middle over here let's do that so let's get our land flattening tool right click there flatten this out a bit we're gonna have to start spending some of this soil on something else because we're picking it up like nobody's business let's use our asymmetrical road let's go a bit smaller this time let's go like that and then i'm going to have an industry road coming off this one's going to curve around as well like that yeah that's going the right way and then Oh, is that an auto save? I'll have a quick sip of tea then. Mm. I was worried there for a sec. It didn't say auto save in the corner. I thought the game had crashed. Yay! <laughs> no, it's fine. Uh, we'll do that. And then we will grab our snow dump. That's actually bigger than I thought. Oh, look at that. It's all bendy. All the snow at the back is going to come running down to the front. Let's, let's just spend a little bit of time and we'll smooth that out. Oh, you need electricity for a snow dump? Really? You're literally driving in, chucking the snow. Oh, man alive. Okay. Um, let's just run this along the back here. 
What do you need? What do you need electro? I suppose there's the guy sat in the office with his radio, listening to Tottenham losing again. Okay, well, it looks like you want to go up there then. There we go. And and water, obviously, of course, you need water. How on earth can you deal with snow? What are you doing? Are you like taking the snow and? I'm going to go and do that. You're taking the snow and shoving it down the drain. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, what is this guy here? That's a cool looking snow plow. He's got a treacherous uh, road to take, isn't he? Is he going to go up the hill? He stops at the stop sign. He is. Is he going to make it? Is this as treacherous as we think? Let's just follow this up here. It actually isn't that bad, is it? Considering I've not smoothed out the road at all. Oh, man. Playing in vanilla all the time. Whoa, this little bit here. Playing in vanilla all the time must be really hard when you can't, like, automatically just use the move it mod. I'll stop complaining about mods when I've finally got used to it. Don't worry. There's the people using the cable car. We need to put a cable car in. To get, come on. A little bit quicker, please. I need to upgrade this road. We need to put our cable car in. So people can get to work. Wow, that is a big drop down that road there. Did you see it? Right, you're going to go and take care of that. Um, we could, if it's not too expensive, pop in a road maintenance depot as well. 40,000. That's going to be half of our money. No. So let's have a look. Okay, yes, I'll be coming around there and working on that. What I do want to do is upgrade this road here. What's that going to cost me? 360 slope too steep oh yeah we got this again <laughs> all right let's just delete that and see if we can get this to to join up i'm sure we can if we try hard enough yay there we go and then we'll just upgrade the rest still got lots of money ah, come on man oh good grief okay let's forget that forget that forget that forget that we'll get it in here Come on, we'll do it. Slope too steep. It's this bit here. This is like the bit. Look at that drop. See, what would you normally do? Move it mod, lift this all up. But do you know what? I'm just going to leave it as it is. Uh, all I'm going to do is because I have to is just check the junction. Yeah, okay. We'll leave it without any traffic lights and whatnot. Right, so now they've got access. Let us pop in a cable car for these people here. Uh, what do you? Oh, I'm a complete numbskull. Seriously? Oh. <laughs> no, what have I done? What have I done? In my haste. Do you know what? When I said, oh, I feel like such a flipping bonehead. I've got a lot of things going on at the moment, guys. You've got to let me off. When I looked at these and I th I saw these and I said, oh, look, they've got them as greenhouses. That's good. Normally, it's not like that. It's I was thinking they're growing trees indoors. That is what I was thinking. And I thought, that's a good idea. It's cold. You know, trees don't want to grow outside. <laughs> what was my brain thinking? This is not what I want. I don't know who lives in here and who works in here. But I'm sorry, this is not for you. So, you're going to have to go. Oh, what an absolute muppet. What an a... Well, there we go, folks, you see. <sighs> Can't even see the road now. This forestry building is big. That's why I was surprised as well that the forestry road fit in here. Because I know how big the building is. And it went in there and I was like, oh. You, you rewind back and you'll see that. I was like surprised. Oh, I just feel such a bonehead. Well, you know, it's a challenge. Let's just keep the game running a little bit slower so we can earn some money while I'm contemplating my boneheadedness. Uh, yeah, we're going to just smooth that out a little bit more. We're going to take... Let's see, how do I want this road to go? We're going to lose our electricity pylons because I'm not used to building the road all the time. That is going to go that way. Or is it going to go this way? It's going to go that way. Look at this truck. He's like, I've got the stuff. Oh, no, it's a car. <laughs> Last time I came here, I had somewhere to drop this stuff off. Now there's nowhere. Okay, how close can that go? That is literally it. Congratulations, you're not a bonehead. We've got a sawmill, a small tree plantation, and a log yard. 
Let's have some outdoor trees. Oh, I missed the toggle whiteness mod, I tell you. Uh, I'll tell you what I want there. I want the sawmill here. Can that go next to it? Yep, sawmill there. I want the storage right opposite the sawmill. And then I want these down this road here. But what I'm going to do is... I don't like I don't like the fact that that road's bendy. I've changed my mind. Can I? Yeah, actually, I'll go there. Like that. And then I'm going to go... Actually, I don't like this. Yeah, I've changed my mind again. Having to think when you place roads, as opposed to just chucking roads down and saying, hey, yeah, that'll do. I'll just manoeuvre it afterwards. It's such a... Such a pain. Having to play the game properly. <laughs> I kid, I kid. Right, so that's going to go there. Can that one go there? Slope too steep. I know how to fix that one. We'll go like this. Yeah, you see, now that road, I've got to delete that to get the slope in. Oh, I've used up all my soil. Right, let's... Which mountain are we going to be building up with all of our excess soil? I like this song. I haven't heard this for ages. Can I do it outside? Outside the city limits. No, I can't. It'll be this one here then. Yay! There we go. Let's put it on the big one. This is going to be Mount... What are we going to call it? Mount Teacup. It's going to be huge. Not enough money. <gasps> what? Placing soil costs money? What the flipping chickens kind of game is this? I've had it easy all this time and not even realised it. Good grief. What's that going to cost me? 4000 I can afford it now. Oh, wow. Biffa's eyes have been opened, I tell you. Right, this is going to have... We'll leave it on balanced for now. And then this needs the raw forestry products when these have actually made some. Uh, what options do we get for trees? We get uh, snowy... There he goes. Snowy beach. Snowy... Or, or really snowy alder or conifers. Let's go for the conifers. Oh, that one as well. And there, the lights are coming down. Yeah, why not? Let's go... Oh, look at that. Try and keep the camera still when it's snowing so it doesn't all... Look absolutely horrendous on the YouTube compression. That's looking all right, isn't it? That is not looking too shabby. So, yeah, now we need to do our cable cars to get people from here to here, which is the whole blimmin' point of the thing that we're doing. Uh, I guess you probably need some electricity to come down here because the snow dump just don't work with no electricity, does it? So we're going to pop that up here. Let us have a look at what we're doing. So what's this going to cost us? An end of line 15,000. We need 30,000 for two of those. I don't think we need any stops yet. Right, I need to see how we can run this. Oh, look at that. It's like a perfect gap through there. Kiskashi, what are you talking about? I don't know. It's all French to me. I'm going to go... I feel like I want it off of the main road. Uh, let's just grab a normal... We'll have this one here. We're going to go like this. Uh, do I want to attach that anywhere? Uh, we'll leave it like that. That should be fine. And then we're going to go for the end stop. I'm trying to sort of line it up. So wherever we're trying to get to, there. So we could sort of just literally go straight across, couldn't we? If we go like that... Well, that cost a lot of money, didn't it? Wow, everything's so expensive. Oh, we don't have curved things. So can I literally go straight from one end to the other? I can. Uh, but when I've got enough money... God, this costs 15 that money. <laughs> we need the money. If I pop this here, let's see if we can... Yeah, I want this off the main road as well. Um, which is going to cost me a ton of money. And then I'm going to re regret where I put it. Because what's going to happen is... Got like bridges and, and now I want to smooth this down. That's gonna cost me a load of money as well. Oh my goodness, the challenge is real. The challenge is real, and you know what? I'm really pleased that there's no there's no jumping and stuttering in the game. That has really made me happy. I'll be interesting to see how that all goes. Oh, I've still got this on. How that all goes once I get my mods and stuff on again. I guess we'll find out in the next episode episode, episode 
of teaports. Um, so don't forget to uh, subscribe if you like people building cities. How much is this costing me? It's like you don't know until you let go. It's literally thousands at a go. I can just like keep going and my bank account just disappears before my eyes. That is just nuts. Absolutely nuts. Well, yeah, I for, don't think for a second that it's going to connect <laughs> over the top of that. Well, I'm going to put it in. Oh, do you know what? I want it. I want it going that way. I'm going to use a bit of my brain. Oh, yeah. Neon Sky. Oh, these old classics. Oh, we love them. So this is going to come along here. Because I know I can't go right angle. So we're going to sort of follow this. That's what I'm trying to get to. Oh, this is perfect. Look, we can follow this up here. That, to me, makes sense. That would be where you would go. You'd, like, follow a little... Yay! You'd follow a little dip like that. So which one's it going to come out of first? Oh, that actually went quite high there, didn't it? That's okay. Over the peaks. Lovely view as you come down. Okay. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Hang on a second. Got to have the first... Got to have the first trip up and over the mountain. Let's go. Let's go two speed. Take the handbrake off. Let's go. As the sun rises over the city of whatever it's called. I haven't even checked. Oh, the others are coming down. As well. Wow, there's so many coming down. I tell you what, you know, people are going to be queuing for this. Well, the, all the people that work down there will be queuing for it, but... There we go. Get a lovely view of the city as we come up over the top. Look at that. And then we're going to turn around and go back down again. Let's enjoy the view going down. I'm going to go double speed. Triple speed. Let's live life on the edge. Hold on to your lunch bags. Whoa. Down the drop. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Wow, there's so many. Actually, there's more cable cars than I remember would run on the line like this. Because I know you can't adjust the amount. It's good. I like this little... I like the way it's actually bridged over the top there. So. Oh, flipping water and electricity. I tell you. Forgetting the basics. Let's do that. And then let's add this. I'm going to come out the back there. Across here and over to there. Yeah, and I wonder if this one needs it as well. Are you okay? You don't seem to be complaining. And you already have uh, pipes. Cool. So how many people are using this so far? 18 service last week. If this number is any different, 48. So between here and here, we're losing people. Let's not panic about that. <laughs> where, where have they gone? Uh, what am I looking for here? Goals. There we go. Already a 1,000 people. We've got 500,000 people. We've added two extra transport buildings. We've got one of the tiles. Uh, two of the tiles, so one extra. Ski lodge. Where the heck is the ski lodge? I'm assuming that's going to be under the park or something is that like a snow here we go oh, look at that. i forget about all of these what have we got snowman park ice sculpture park sledding hill curling park skating rink ski lodge three thousand is that what it costs i need some hot chocolate and stop at the ski lodge how many of those we've got to build ten I'm thinking we could, like, build one of those, like, halfway down here. See, the annoying thing is, is what you're going to do is you're going to put a road in. It's got to have access to other things. But if we put, like, a stop in here, I sort of want to put it this bit here. But, yeah, we still need to run a road for services and stuff. Or do we? I mean, it's going to complain. Oh, I can't see now because it's night time. It's going to complain. But how about... Well, I've turned, I've, it's daytime. How about we uh, just put one in and see if we can get away with not caring about the complaining? That might be okay. So if I just stick like uh, a cheap road here, I'm just trying to look for somewhere that's relatively flat. I mean, it's going to deform the land, but if we sort of go like this and just plonk a ski lodge on there, which one was it? This one here? Oh, the tiny. Yeah, I didn't plan that at all, did I? What I was actually going to do was put a stop here as well. 
Uh, so let's put a cable car stop. So that goes in one end and out the other. Oh, actually, that's okay. Yeah, like that. And if we just pause, uh, all these poor people. Uh, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll make sure you get compensation for your disappeared family members on my cable car run. There we go. Uh, we'll give them electricity because you're going to need that. So, we, yeah, we can hook in over here. There we go. And water pipes. Look at that. There is literally a pipe right there. It's almost like I planned this all in advance. And then, uh, yeah, there we go. And are you going to complain about the lack of services and things? I'm thinking you are. But I'm also thinking I might not care. And we'll just sort of plonk some of those down. So there we go. We've got two ski lodges. And hopefully we'll get people stopping and more people traveling because it's a nice little park. Why not? And we can dot those around the mountains with more cable cars going between them. I'm getting some fantastic ideas here of how we can really get people using cable cars. Uh, what do we need here? An extra work. Uh, oh, we need to get up to 150. So we've got a bit more work to do on our cool little looking forestry area, which is looking nice. I'm liking that. I'm liking how things are going. This is looking all right. What do you reckon? Would you like to see more of this? Oh, look at the colours. I love the colours in the snow map. Would you like to see more? If so, leave a thumbs up on the video below. Any ideas you've got for how we can get as many people as possible using cable cars, stick it in the comments below. And subscribe. Don't forget to do that as well so you don't miss out on the next one. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day. Take care. Bye-bye.